Welcome to Not So New News. Come along with us as we continue to discover an Appalachian time gone by. Today's article comes from the town of Whitesburg in Letcher County, Kentucky's newspaper, The Mountain Eagle. Volume 5, Number 4, Industrial Edition, 3rd Section, dated June 6, 1912. Page 13 is named Looking Jenkins in the Face and continued in today's reading. Lower Main Street, Jenkins, Kentucky, September 12, 1911. Good Water Reservoir, Jenkins, Kentucky, March 1, 1912. Wesley Wright. The above is a good reproduction of Wesley Wright, who is no stranger to a large number of our readers. He is the son of one of our best fellow citizens, Sam J. Wright, is 30 years of age and a native Letcherite. From his earliest youth, Wesley Wright had a tact for doing whatever he laid his hands to. And that tact has developed steadily until today there is scarcity and intricacy in the mechanism of the piece of machinery that he cannot pry into. And if defective, mend or correct it. He is perhaps the only successful saw hammerer in this end of the mountains. At present, he is a member of the firm of Wright and Chase, Jewelers, etc. of Jenkins. The firm is enjoying an excellent trade, besides giving satisfaction all around to their many customers and friends. Emery H. Chase of Wright and Chase Jewelers. Harry B. Morgan. From the first H. B. Morgan came identified with the life and growth of Jenkins. He is just 25 and a native of West Virginia. A lumberman by profession, he had 10 years experience in that business. At present, he is employed by the Nicola Building Company of the Big Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Concern, which is erecting the hundreds of neat residences at Jenkins. He has charge of the mills and yards of the company. To show how much Mr. Morgan is identified with the new city, a few weeks ago, he accepted the position of town marshal and is making a popular official. Detectives Ash and Anderson When the stranger goes out to Jenkins about the first faces that will command his attention will be those of messengers N.B. Ash and O.R. Anderson. A part of their business is to see that all the laws of the county of their Balwick are obeyed. You will never meet two nicer, manlier men. Mr. Ash is 30 years of age and came to Jenkins from Fayette County, West Virginia. Mr. Anderson is full-blooded Kentuckian, 35 years of age. They are each employed by well-known Baldwin Feltz Detective Agency and will have charge of all their work as detectives on the new extension of the B&O Railroad into the Elkhorn section. Mr. Ash has had nine years and Mr. Anderson 11 years experience in this particular work and they are certainly up on their work. The good citizen the man who is disposed to love the right and respect of the law need have no fear of these gentlemen. The violator will do well to shy in another direction. Hotel at Dunham One of the big towns springing up under the magic hand of the consolidation. Tipple, number 206, Jacobs, Kentucky This concludes today's reading of page 13 of the June 6, 1912 Mountain Eagle. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living would like to thank you for your continued support as we bring to you the history of the Appalachian Mountains.